Often in the UFC and MMA as a whole, athletes don't get the chance to retire on their own terms. There are rare occasions, however, when fighters leave the scene before their story is fully told and completed. There are a few names in the UFC that stand out when it comes to fighters retiring too soon. Let's take a look at 10 UFC fighters who should have retired earlier. In this video, we are going to show you top 10 MMA fighters that should have retired earlier. Before we start the video, please like and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Let's start the video. Number 1. Ken Shamrock Ken Shamrock was the man to beat in the UFC in the early 90s, even bringing his world's most dangerous man persona to the world of professional wrestling after stepping away from the octagon. When Shamrock jumped back into the world of MMA after wrestling, he was a different person than before, lacking the explosiveness he once had in the sport. In fact, Shamrock, who was inducted to the UFC Hall of Fame, is actually only 4 to 12 since 2000, highlighted by his three-peat loss to Tito Ortiz. At 52, Shamrock may be fit to work security, but his days in the cage are numbered. Number 2. Vitor Belfort No one is questioning this guy's heart and passion for the sport, as Vitor Belfort is a fan favorite. At 39 years old, he has been around the fighting scene for quite a while. One of his best victories was a TKO against fighter Trotteligman at USC 12 in 1997. It also can't be forgotten that Belfort nearly broke the arm of John Jones at UFC 152. By the way, Jones was a light heavyweight champ. This guy is a beast, and no one doubts that, and like other guys on this list, this mention is more about age than achievements. Number 3. Josh Koscheck. Not everyone likes this guy. In fact, he has hated many fans of MMA, with many people actually ordering fights just to see Kos get beaten up. Ironically, even the haters of Josh Koscheck are concerned about the grappler, especially after suffering two knockouts from Robbie Lawler and Tyron Woodley. These both came the first round, mind that. Koscheck has fought many battles and has had a career that anyone would be proud of, so a career change may be the right decision before he takes any further beatings. Number 4. Kimbo Slice Kimbo has never really been a serious contender in the octagon but more of a draw for curious viewers. Since his debut on The Ultimate Fighter, fans wondered what kind of transition the former street fighter could make in the UFC. Slice's most recent match against former friend-slash-crew member Duffer Dead of 5000 Harris at the later 149 was the most lethargic fight that has ever been shown on television. Number 5. Tio Ortiz Oh, you didn't know Tio Ortiz was still fighting? Well, maybe that is because the former UFC light heavyweight champion has been getting rocked since 2006, only winning three fights since his Shamrock victories. Truthfully, it looked like Ortiz could make a comeback, winning his first two fights in Belader, but those hopes were squashed after being chalked out by Liam McGeary in the first round of their fight in late 2015. Ortiz should quit while he is ahead and get of MMA before someone forces him to. Number 6. Quentin Jackson Quentin Rampage Jackson would be higher on this list if this were being written in 2013, but the former UFC light heavyweight champion is actually on a winning streak. His last four fights have all been victories, either by the way of unanimous decision or knockout punch. So in light of his most recent accomplishments, Jackson should go out on top, leaving a good memory in his supporters' heads. At 37 years old, Rampage may have one powerbomb left in him, but chances are if he dead lifts his opponent, he isn't getting back up. Number 7. Diego Sanchez Diego the Dream Sanchez is already 34 years old, and he has been beaten up and taken some rough beatings in his career. He has been a solid fighter throughout his career, but his career never amounted to real success. Everyone loves him for his style and attitude, but it may be time for Sanchez to quit fighting as he has lost more fights than he has won since 2009. Even though none of those losses were from knockouts, he still has lost six fights that a younger Sanchez would have won. Number 8. Forrest Griffin Two-time UFC Hall of Famer Forrest Griffin had a storied career in the 2000s and finished strong with a trilogy win over fellow legend Tito Ortiz in MMA, 
a recurring theme among fighters, is that it is difficult to retire off of a win because they know that they could still compete with the best of the world. I would love to see Forrest come out of retirement against someone close to his, perhaps Chuck Liddell or Dan Henderson, and I wouldn't be surprised if he wanted to do this before he is too old to compete. Number 9. Chad Mendes Chad Mendes just retired after his loss to top contender Alexander Volkanovsky. However, that was a very winnable fight for him, and he could still easily be at the top of the featherweight division. Mendes is one of the few top contenders that champion Max Holloway has not fought, so after Volkanovsky and Frankie Edgar, Holloway could have been looking at a potential fight with the perennial contender Mendes. I would like to see Chad come out of retirement and take a fight against someone on top, such as Renato Moicano or Cub Swanson, and I think that he could fight for the title in at least a year. Number 10. Dan Henderson Igate suggesting that a 48-year-old man should come out of retirement, but Dan Henderson is just too much of a legend to not end his career on a win. In his last fight, Henderson fought Michael Bisping for the UFC middleweight title and only lost by a razor-thin decision. Perhaps fighting someone like the aforementioned Forrest Griffin, or perhaps Chuck Liddell, Tito Ortiz, or even the likes of Royce Gracie and Belader could lead to a fitting end for Hendo. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.